Hey guys, it's Mike here, K9 KMV. Just recently I've had quite a few people email me to uh, ask me about one of the antenna setups that I have been using. It's the telescopic dipole that I've been using sometimes when I go uh, HF portable. So I thought I'd give you a quick uh, demonstration of it and uh, show you how it all works. Okay, so this is the setup. Um, I've got uh, a tripod first off, which is from MFJ. Um, but the, the important part of this actually is the, uh, the mount that you see here. So this is the MFJ 347. And it's basically a, a, a dipole center mount. And what it lets you do is, uh, if you can see, it's got these uh, 3 8 by 24 inch studs on each side together with the uh, the SO239 socket for the coax so basically you can either use it with uh, a pair of ham sticks um, or what I've been doing is using the telescopic whips uh, which uh, I think are a bit more efficient so I'm going to attach the whips first and show you what it looks like I'll put some coax on it as well and then I'll I'll push the, the 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 mast up a little bit higher and you'll get an idea of what it all looks like. Okay, so I just put the uh, telescopic whips on there and attached the coax. So now you can see what it looks like um, at this point. And then what I'm going to do next is extend the telescopic whips out. And when they're at their fullest length, uh, this should be resident on 20 meters. It's important to make sure that both sides are the same length. Okay, so I just uh, extended the, the mast just a little bit. If you can see that the, uh, we still got quite a bit of snow on the ground. Uh, today might actually break above freezing, but for the last few weeks, it's been pretty cold here. Well, the last few months actually and so I haven't been able to actually put the stakes into the ground to keep the tripod nice and firm uh, because the ground is uh, is still frozen solid I could barely get it an inch into the ground so I don't want to extend the tripod mast all the way up to the top as high as it goes in case it uh, in case it falls over um, but this should still give you an idea of uh, what this mast looks like when it's fully deployed um, and obviously I would have it a lot higher this this particular mast goes up to about 20 feet so what I've done here is I've got the antenna analyzer on here for 20 meters and if you can see that uh, hopefully that comes up good in the in the video but at 14.250 megahertz we got a SWR reading of about 1.4 and uh, that's with the those telescopic whips fully extended out. So what I'm going to do now, and I've never actually done this before, is uh, shorten those telescopic whips all the way down and see what they're resonant on when they're at their shortest length. It'll just be interesting to see what kind of band coverage I can get. I know the maximum is going to be 20 meters, but let's have a look and see uh, see what else this can do. Okay, so I've just uh, shortened the each side of the telescopic whips to the shortest uh, they can go. And uh, okay, it's very low to the ground right now. It's about head height, I'm about five foot 10. So it's pretty low to the ground. And at uh, 440 megahertz, so the 70 meter band, we have an SWR of about 1.56. So uh, it uh, covers all the way down to, to 70 centimeters. All right, so I just raised the antenna a little bit higher, nothing crazy. Again, like I said, I don't want to take this uh, too high because I can't, I can't stake the tripod down because the ground is still frozen. But raising the height of the antenna did bring the SWR down just a little bit, if you can, uh, if you can see that. Not by very much, but uh, it's interesting that this would certainly be usable on uh, 70 centimeters. 
Okay, so that was a very quick and probably very unscientific experiment there. But all I was trying to do was show you how I set things up here and also uh, do that quick test to see uh, what kind of frequency range that this would potentially work for. Now, my guess now is that knowing that I can go from 20 meters all the way through to 70 centimeters, that makes it a pretty good uh, solution for the IC705. Uh, that covers, um, obviously it covers 20 all the way through to, to 440 as well. Now it wouldn't give me anything um, beyond 20 meters, which is, uh, you know, nice to have usually. Um, I do quite a lot of uh, portable stuff and I like to do 20 meters and 40 meters. Um, but uh, I think for what it is, it's a pretty good setup to uh, get you on uh, some of those bands and uh, it's nice to have one antenna system that can do multiple bands like that. So there it is. It can be used on 20 meters and will work all the way through to 70 centimeters, 440 megahertz, um, just by lowering the antenna and then shortening each side of the whip. So remember that the, uh, the two measurements I took were when the antenna was at its longest length and then when it was at its shortest length. So all the uh, handbands in between there uh, will be possible just by adjusting the length. Um, having an antenna analyzer definitely helps because that way you can, um, you can start to measure things. But also, uh, you know, you can kind of figure out just through the, uh, the formula um, to get an idea of just how, how long each side needs to be for a dipole. I hope you uh, found this useful and um, maybe you'll give it a try as well. It's the MFJ347 uh, dipole center mount um, with the MFJ1979, I think they are, telescopic whips, just a pair of those, and uh, you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you found this useful. And uh, if you want to see more of my videos, then please think about subscribing. I'd appreciate that very much and uh, look forward to doing some more videos like this. All the best, 7-3 from K9KMV.